Hello, my dear children. Welcome to today's class. So, what are we learning today? Today, we are learning about cooking food. So, who cooks food in your house? Is it your mother or your father or both of them cook together in kitchen? And are you fond of cooking? And do you help your parents in cooking food? All right. So, you know what? Everyone should know how to cook food. And why should we actually cook food? That we are going to study in this chapter today. So, all right. So, my first question is, why do we cook food? So, cooking food is one of the most important parts of eating food. So, yes, when we are fond of eating food, we are fond of eating vegetables and chapatis and along with that, sometimes we eat some junk food also. Every food is being cooked in one form or the other. We cannot eat everything raw. Although some food are being eaten raw, we don't need to cook them. But most of the food, they are being cooked before we eat it. So, most of the food are cooked and then eaten. Certain plant products are eaten raw and some are cooked well before eating. Some foods can be eaten raw as well as cooked. And what kind of food are they? So, for example, we can eat radish cooked or raw. We can eat tomatoes raw or cooked similarly beetroot so there are many other cabbage also so there are many other plant food which we can eat raw also and we can cook it and then eat also cooking food why do we cook them because cooking food makes it soft easy to digest and also it becomes tasty after cooking and cooking also makes it free from germs that can cause diseases. So, uh, if you have seen sometimes in vegetables when we peel vegetables or we cut them, there are germs in that, there are big, big worms in the vegetables. So, Sometimes if we don't get to see such kind of germs, then these are the germs which we can see. But then there are some germs which are not visible to our eyes also. And when we cook such food, then uh, the germs get killed uh, when we cook the food. So why do we cook food? Because it becomes soft, easy to digest, tasty and it kills the germs that can cause diseases. Uh, from the food. Now, overcooked food, very oily food and processed food like the packaged food, the canned food, uh, they are very harmful to our health. So, we should eat fresh food as much as possible because processed food, canned food, the burgers, the pizzas, all these food are really, really harmful for our health. Raw or boiled vegetables, uh, raw or boiled food, that's the best for our health. So, what are the different methods of cooking food? So, the first method is boiling. Okay. So, boiling is the best way to cook food. It does not destroy the nutrient, nutrient elements in the food. So, whatever nutrients are present in the food by boiling, it does not get killed the uh, nutrients they remain intact in the food so we should eat boiled food as much as possible so uh, which food can be boiled we boil pulses we uh, boil eggs right so food like eggs rice dal vegetables they are being boiled to soften them before we eat them. So, before they are eaten, they are being made soft by boiling. And then we can, uh, either we can eat them just boiled or then we can add some spices to it to make it, make its taste better and make it very uh, delicious and then we can eat it. But best is if you can just eat them boiled, that will be the best way. Next method of cooking is steaming. So, so steaming is another uh, way to cook food. It is also again a very healthy uh, method to eat 
टू कुक फूड इडलीज मेड बाय स्टीमिंग द डो सिमिलरली मोमोज आर कुकड इन स्टीम मोमोज द इडलीज समटाइम्स द राइस इज ऑल्सो द वेन वी वॉन्ट टू री हीट द आईज द राइस वी स्टीम इट नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज बेकिंग बेकिंग इज द मेथड मेथड इन विच फूड आइटम्स आर कुकड इन साइड एंड अवन सो देर इज एन अवन इन यू मस्ट you might have oven in your house so when we cook food inside the oven it is called baking so what do mostly which type of food do we mostly bake these are the pastries the breads the cakes the pizza all these items we bake in the oven and uh, the people who specialize in baking and they have a proper profession of baking that's why they are called bakers because the bakery shop the bakers they bake cakes the pastries uh, the different breads uh, they do it in oven this method is used to bake bread cake pastries buns cookies etc all right next is grilling so as you can see in the picture there is a uh, there is no utensil basically and it is the method of uh, dry heating and then there are bars and on the on those bars we put the food directly and then there is a source of heat coming from down uh, uh, from inside and then the food is being cooked by grilling so food is directly cooked on the source of heat no utensil are used to cook food in this method food is kept on the metal bars and that may those metal bars they are called griller and cooked directly on heat without any utensil as you can see over here okay so so there is some iron suspension and then there are bars on it food is directly kept on this and then there is source of heat it, the heat comes from down and the food is being grilled now comes roasting now what is roasting roasting is somewhat similar to grilling just little difference is there that this method involves cooking food dry over heat okay so uh, what happens that there are two rods and uh, on those two rods one more rod horizontal rod is being uh, put and on that horizontal rod we hang some food on it mostly the non veg food like fish or uh, uh, the hen right all these kind of things they hang on that rod and then we put on the fire from below and that fire uh, then cooks the food which is being hung on the iron rod above we keep on rotating the iron rod to cook that particular food from all the sides so it is used to roast fish meat paneer etc so if i talk if we talk about early men early men used to cook food mostly by roasting because they did not have anything else they did not have vessels also so they just uh, when they invented fire when they discovered fire so after discovery of fire they started roasting their food roasting the animals that they hunted so roasting is such an old method of cooking all right so we must bring meats to room temperature before cooking them or before roasting them frying is another method the most common method of cooking food is frying so what do we do in frying we put some oil in the vessel it can be a, a vessel filled with oil till the top uh, and the food is dipped completely in the oil and that is called deep frying or 
then some a little oil can be put on a uh, on the vessel which is not very deep and then we can just fry the sh we can shallow fry the food so deep frying and shallow fry so deep fry like we do in samosas or uh, we do in bread rolls all these things are deep fried and shallow fry we can uh, shallow fry a tikki okay so uh, we, we shallow fry the parathas that we eat usually in Indian households. The most common method of cooking food is frying. Food is fried in oil over heat. Food can be deep fried or shallow fried. Deep fried means food dipped deep in the oil while frying and shallow frying means using a little amount of oil to fry and stir fry involves minimal oil. And food is cooked over high heat. All right. Although deep fried food is not recommended, deep fried food is really unhealthy uh, for your heart, for your body. Now, what are the different utensils that are being used to cook food? If you see in your house, in your kitchen, your uh, parents, they use different kind of utensils to cook food. So, different types of vessels are used to cook food. They are used according to the food being cooked in it. So, some very commonly used food cooking vessels are pressure cookers. In pressure cookers, we mainly boil uh, the boil dals and uh, rice, all these things. Then frying pans are used for frying. Cooking pots are used for, again, many different uh, methods for uh, making big uh, a large amount of vegetable when we put a lot of water in it and we make some vegetable cooking pot is used in that then the works griddle etc i'm going to tell the hindi names for them also not all of them but few of them so works works are also called karhai are used for roasting stir frying and shallow frying. So, what are kadhais used for? What are woks used for? Roasting, stir fry and shallow frying. Frying pans are used for deep frying. Then comes the pots. Pots are used to cook curries and gravies. So, as I told you, the vegetable which requires a lot of water for their curries, for their gravies, in that, those kind of cooking, uh, food cooking pot is used. We also call it patila in Hindi. The pressure cooker is used to cook hard grains and vegetables with keeping their nutrients intact. So, that means it is used mainly for boiling. Then comes griddles or we call it tawa. And griddles look like this and it is used to make chapatis, dosas, chillas, all these things. Okay. Now, the, this is about the utensils. Now, what are the fuels that we use for cooking? We need some or the other fuel to produce fire for cooking, right? Or if not fire, then we use sometimes electricity for cooking. Actually, what, what is needed is a uh, very hot temperature, very warm temperature, hot temperature on which our food can be cooked. And that, that hot temperature can be created by many different fuels. So, we need, need fuel to produce heat to cook food. Okay, so we need some very high temperature we need heat to cook food different kinds of fuels are used to cook food depending on the availability like and cost so what what fuel is available in which area and how cost effective it is according to that we use different kind of fuel so firewood the most commonly used fuel in rural parts of india is firewood so in villages in rural parts in uh, uh, the tribal areas where the there is uh, you know, there is not much availability of different fuels and uh, then there is not much money to afford 
वेरी एक्सपेंसिव फ्यूल्स देयर पीपल आर यूजिंग फायर वुड सिंस वेरी अर्ली टाइम्स सो दे आर यूजिंग फायर वुड टिल नाउ ऑल्सो सो पीपल कलेक्ट ड्राई वुड and uh, they collect dried wood from the forest or trees around and use them as fuel so what do they do they collect the uh, wood they light them and uh, then they cook food on them it does not cause them anything it is used in chulas the traditional stove made of mud so chula looks something like this okay so uh, it, this is made of mud then mud also cost nothing and then they put uh, woods over here the dried woods it also cost nothing and they light fire they put it on fire and then fire comes the mud here it gets hot and the vessel is kept on it this is this uh, this part is called chula and it is made up of mud all right so a chula is the traditional stove made of mud it is not good to use wood as fuel why because it produces a lot of smoke and it is time consuming also so to put um, the these wood on fire it takes a lot of time and also it produces a lot of smoke it is not at all good for environment to use wood as cooking fuel next is kerosene so kerosene is an oil basically so kerosene is a petroleum product it is used for strong flame it gives it is used in a specially designed stove called kerosene stove for cooking so there is this kind of stove here and in this stove so this is a chula okay i i drew it so this is a chula this and fire wood is used in mud stoves this is a kerosene stove so in many uh, rural areas in slum areas this kerosene stove is being used kerosene is put inside this stove and then the this kerosene is flammable and kerosene oil is being used to produce flame and then food is being cooked next is coal coal is used to burn in stove made of iron called angeeties the special thing about coal is that it burns for a long time so it is considered good for cooking right so coal uh, coal is uh, used in the stoves made of iron so there is a stove which is made up of iron and it is called angeethi angeethis are used till date not just for cooking but in winters angeethis are being uh, lighted for keeping ourselves warm people light angeethi they sit around angeethi and they uh, just uh, make their their bodies warm by the heat uh, coal produces because coal can be burned for a long period of time now comes the charcoal charcoal is used to make food on a tandoor a big iron and mud stove mostly used for gatherings or in dhabas so you can see that this is a tandoor so basically a tandoor looks something like this this is made of iron and inside there is mud so and here uh, the due to charcoal the heat is being produced and in dhabas in restaurants when we order food made in tandoor tandoors are used there so we order for tandoori rotis right in uh, um, big big gatherings also tandoor is being used and here charcoal is used by burning uh, and charcoal is obtained by burning wood now comes the li lpg or liquef liquefied petroleum gas this is a fuel which is used in almost all the households in urban areas in cities in towns lpg cylinders lpg pipelines uh, that is being available in almost all the cities all the big towns and in every household mostly now lpg is being used 
it is a very environment friendly it is very neat and clean fuel so it is the most recommended fuel to be used for cooking lpg can be seen in every urban kitchen in india it is supplied in cylinders or through pipes at homes it is a very efficient and clean fuel as it does not cause any harm to the environment and it it does not cause any pollution it is attached to a special lpg stove so the stove that we have in our houses uh those are being made in a way that it supports the lpg uh pipe or L uh, it can be lighted through lpg only it is an easy and time saving fuel for cooking now these are the lpg cylinders which come in our houses some uh, person comes and uh, replaces the empty cylinder with the filled one Uh, or uh, now days cylinders are being replaced by the lpg pipelines right so it is use it is easy and time saving to cook on lpg then comes the solar energy we use the energy of the sun when the sun is shining very brightly um, the solar cookers are being kept in the open where there is a plenty of sunlight and uh, uh, when the sunlight is being trapped in the solar cooker the food inside it gets uh, heated and eventually it gets cooked of course it's it's a very uh, time consuming process but then it is a very environment friendly also the food which is being cooked with solar energy it is very healthy the f the nutrients remain intact in uh, this form of cooking we use the energy of the sun to cook food in a specially designed solar cooker this cooker traps this solar energy to produce heat to cook food it is a very time consuming but environmental friendly so which energy is being trapped from the sun the solar energy then we also use electricity to cook food um so we use electricity to produce heat and cook food for example in ovens in microwaves in air fryers uh, then now nowadays there is a stove which runs on electricity uh, all these things are being used uh, it runs on electricity and then it is also environmental friendly so we widely use electric devices like ovens microwave griller hot plates to cook food these gadgets use electricity as fuel so which all fuels uh, have we covered till now electricity solar energy lpg kerosene firewood charcoal coal okay now other conventional fuels like cow dung cakes and gobar gas are also used as fuel to cook food cow dung cakes are used in mud stoves so what happens in villages in rural uh, areas where uh, there are plenty of uh, cattle so there is plenty of cow dung also which is called gobar then gobar gas is being produced which is used in uh, as a fuel for cooking also the Uh, cakes which are being made of uh, cow dung they look like this instead of a wood the these cakes are being put in the mud stove and uh, people light them to produce fire and then they cook food so gobar gas is produced uh, by the process of animal dung okay by processing animal dung gobar gas can be produced now what is healthy food if food is being cooked properly neither it is undercooked nor it is overcooked that food is healthy if we are washing the food properly before eating the food is healthy if we are eating fresh food which is not stale the food is healthy if we are uh, eating every type of food a balanced food then the food is healthy 
so if we keep all these things in mind we are leading a healthy life we are eating healthy food food is healthy if it is cooked in a good way it should be washed properly before cooking we should always eat fresh food and avoid eating stale food all type of food should be eaten we should eat vegetables dal milk products etc regularly one kind of food should not be repeated all the time we should eat balanced food a balanced food has the right amount of body building food protective food and energy giving food we should avoid overeating anything so if uh, we like certain food and we keep on eating it even if we are not hungry that's not healthy eating a balanced food has all the nutrients present in it uh, energy giving body building and a protective food uh when we eat all of them in one day that's a healthy food now these are the key terms that we have learned today fuel is the energy required to produce heat roast is dry heating the food solar means belonging to the sun gobar is the dung of the animals balanced diet is food having all important nutrients in a balanced quantity now also remember that we cook food for easy chewing and digestion we boil food to soften it and retain its nutrition we use various fuels to cook food we use fuels depending on their availability and cost we use various vessels to cook food and it is very important to eat balanced food balanced food has all the nutrients of food in balanced quantity Now let's complete this exercise and see what have we learned today. Choose the correct option. Cow dung and firewood is used as fuel in mud stoves in rural areas. So both A and B. Kerosene is a fuel. A big stove of iron and mud used for cooking for gathering is called tandoor. Cooking food directly on the heat on iron bars is called grilling. Cooking food deep in the oil is called deep frying. Complete the following sentences. Cooking food in steam is called steaming. Cooking food in an oven is called baking. Dry heating the food in a pan is called roasting. Momos and idlis are cooked by steam. The energy of the sun used to cook food is called solar energy. The dung of animals processed to produce gas for cooking is called gobar gas. Match the following vessels with their names. So I'll start from the last. This is called a griddle. This is called a wok. This is called a pressure cooker. This is called a frying pan, and this is a deep frying pan. It can be used for a deep frying thing. This particular vessel because this is deep. Now you have to answer the following questions in your notebook yourself. We can discuss over here in short. Why do we need to cook food? We need to cook food to make it soft, easy to digest, tasty and to kill the germs present in raw food. Which is the best way to cook food and why boiling is the best way to cook food because it keeps all the nutrients intact in the food. Which fuel is good to cook food and why LPG or liquefied petroleum gas is the best fuel to cook food because it consumes less time and it is also environmental friendly and it is a very neat and clean fuel which does not cause any pollution which fuels are mostly used in rural areas so cow dung and firewood and sometimes coal also what is healthy food a uh, properly washed and cooked food is healthy food a uh, fresh food is healthy food and a food which contains all the balanced uh, food uh, like protective food body building food and energy giving food 
is a healthy food. Now let's complete this exercise uh, and this is a very fun based exercise which you have to do with your friends, with your family and have fun with the lesson. You can collect pictures of various vessels used for cooking food in your house. So what you can do is just take out the different vessels in your kitchen, click their picture, get it developed and paste it in the scrapbook and also write that what is it called uh, in your language. Like I have told you the Hindi names but what is it called in your language, ask your mother and uh, then you can write uh, their names in your language also and discuss in your class that for which purpose your mother or your parents they use that vessel for. Now we have learned a lot about ways to cook food and uh, can you can we eat food without using all these methods for cooking? Now write down the ways by which you do not, you can make a proper dish without using fire. So for example, a sandwich, yeah, or a milkshake. So you do not need any kind of uh, heating for making these dishes. So if uh, you have any dish, such dish in your mind cooking without fire like salad, sprout salad uh, or a sandwich, please write all those things. Now given below are various food items, you can place the food items according to your choice in your plate which you think that it will make your plate a balanced plate, a balanced diet and it also does not contain any junk food. Alright, so like we can um, put chapatis, egg if you are non-vegetarian, uh, sabzi, dal, rice and salad. If I had to make my plate, I would put all these things in my plate. What about you? If you are a non-vegetarian, you can choose this. Um, Alright, so this is all in this chapter. Uh, Let's cook food and I hope you have learned a lot about the methods, the vessels, the fuels to cook food. So keep learning, keep shining. Bye-bye.